So I do think it's a viable way to play. If I, had to, <laughs> if I had to expect it, because it's what we almost get in, in pro play, it's probably just like Stridebreaker tank or whatever. But, right. Um, but I would be excited to see some of the different builds coming out. And it is going to be a counter pick here for Rich. So he goes Jackson 5. It is the Scion. I would love to see something like Scion band out potentially instead of that Nocturne, but obviously they're more concerned about Kenby. From Kenby, he only expends the ultimate, gets a flash out of there, and now he's going to be heading over towards mid as income solo. Jensen already flashed away, and it's an Immortals party here in mid lane. They even get the money on Balulu. It's first blood to him. You know, so far, this warding around mid has, has kept them totally safe, and it's just going to be the ulti getting dropped. You know, looking for that trade, but they're going to try to turn oh around. Oh, my God. Kenby shows up. Dignitas. They thought they had the man advantage, but Immortals is ready to match. Making a 2 nothing lead for Ryan. Ends, which lasts, I think, I don't know, three seconds or so. I believe that's correct. Um, so he was trying to wait that out, then throw the ulti, which actually forced the flash. So uh, we'll see. Santoro moving in here. Rich has TP'd in, but there's more Immortals members in the area yeah. right now. They brought in everybody. It's a five-man squad from Immortals. Rich here on the front. Remember, there's no ulti available for Sejuani. Rich has found himself in the middle of everyone. Super Mega does rocket over the wall, but IMT claims the Herald. Now they got to be careful because Santorin's already dead. Tactical taking the kill as Dignitas retreat. Follow-up flash is all ready to go, and a double kill for Aphelios. Immortals is loving it. Off here. Uh, but oh, in this no. case, Jensen gonna die again, just no flash. Yeah, slowed up, tagged up by everybody. Immortals, man, they're doing so good. They get shredded. Has been spotted here by Dig, though. We'll see if they can do anything about it. Dignitas wants to challenge for this. Santorin is just immediately killed. The cutthroat gameplay of Immortals right here. They waste no time. As soon as Santorin is in range, they engage and they guarantee themselves a 20 minute bear. And now Super Mega Death Rocket not doing a whole lot. Baron will go over to an immortal Damn. squad that is playing it out miraculously. Wait, maybe not. Oh, the redemption. the redemption from Treats to guarantee the Jax can't escape. Rich, again, is it a guarantee? Sidwani doesn't do a lot of damage without hitting abilities. Can be. Still trying to chase this one. There it is. Takes him out. Rich falls. Set. Double stopwatch on their carries as well. They have this massive front line around them. Oh. Yeah, they everything in a great ulti. That was beautiful. Kenvi goes to the side because it looks like Santorin would have been the obvious target from where Sejuani was, but often protected. There goes the tier three turret. Final inhibitor in the Dignitas base is focused down next. Only one Nexus turret left, and it's got about one hit on it. Tactical can take that down with a single auto attack. There it goes. Only the Nexus stands. Rich at half HP. Dignitas have to make their final stand. Jensen at half trying to hold these guys at bay as Immortals regroup and follow to protect Tactical. Santorin is dropped as Kenby will finally be the first kill of the game for Dignitas. They pick up the enemy jungler, but it's still already a two for one. They've lost their AD carry and Dignitas are trapped in their own fountain. Solo's not going to let him away as Rich has to drop the Counter-Strike just to survive. Jensen continues falling back as Immortals...